that door will be open for you i didn't hear your amen somebody i said that door will be open for you somebody said yes that is the realm of glory so the realm of glory is the birthright of every believer that is our realm tell somebody the realm of glory is my birthright so we are now carriers of the glory tell somebody i am pregnant not with fufu. You know, this morning we are coming to more people have even eaten already. You are carriers of the glory. Listen, people have told you you carry curse. You don't carry a curse. You carry the glory of God. We have this treasure in earthly vessels. You carry God's glory. You carry divinity inside of you. You carry the totality of God inside of you. So can I prophesy to you? Things are about to move for you. Somebody shout yes. What are the dividends of the glory? What are the benefits? Anytime you see the glory at the place, what do you get? Number one, delight. Delight. Those who carry the glory are not depressed. <laughs> you know, when I read a book, I'm reading a book by a Christian psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. And he said something. He said, all the things he has dealt with, apart from demonic spirit, when it comes to depression, one of the things that can cure depression in the life of his people is bank alert. There is nobody here that receives bank alert and doesn't laugh. <laughs> bank alert. Delight, delight. The glory is the cure for depression. Is the cure for depression. You see, anybody who doesn't have hope is always afraid of the future. But when you have hope that your future will be glorious, you don't matter, it doesn't matter what is happening in the present. Your life may be going through turbulence, your life may be going through issues. But ladies and gentlemen, anybody that has hope for the future, that is why those who can see the future are always ahead of those who cannot see the future. You know why I'm not afraid of tomorrow? Because God has given me a picture of tomorrow. When you see a picture of your tomorrow, and you see that your tomorrow is better, whatever storm you are going through now, you will enjoy going through the storm. From today, every form of depression over your life is broken. I didn't hear your amen at all. Because of social media, you are, you are sad. You see your friends on social media and the kind of things they post on social media is making you sad. Somebody goes to borrow people's car and then take a picture. My new babe. Then you are sitting there and your heart is pumping. Pa, pa, pa. You, know, you never know. I heard the story of two guys who were classmates. And one was going to look for the job. Another one was also going to look for a job. When the one that was going to look for the job saw that one other one who was looking for a job was standing by a car. He said, oh. I'm in trouble. I need to pretend that I, I am a big man. So, <laughs> because where he has to pass is where the guy is standing. So he walked to the guy. Hey, how are you doing? So this other guy too had to post big. He said, oh, uh, uh, my company is just here. I'm a CEO. I came for a board meeting. My driver is nowhere to be found. And I'm waiting for my driver. How are you? What is happening to you? He said, me too. I'm a CEO of a company. Uh, my uh, real estate. I came to inspect. And there was another car parked by the roadside. 
You see, when the, your family witches are after you, they're after you. Then the owner of the car just came out of the same building he said it's his company and came to enter the car and use his key. Beep, beep. So the guy asked him, is that your driver? <laughs> The man drove the car away. So this other guy realized that this guy lied. Then he said, I don't have my car here, but don't be lying. Then he too, he walked to that car, pretending like the car was his. Then the owner of the car also came. You see, people define their life by what they see on social media. There is fake lifestyle in social media. You will see somebody go and stand somewhere. There is even Photoshop. That people take pictures and put it as if they have gone to US. But even airport, they don't know it. And when you see those things, your heart is beating and you are dying. Do you know the number of married people that are faking happiness? They take pictures together, me and my boo. Even in the same dress. The love of my life. Sugar baby. Birthday loading. You are the honey in my tea. They will start writing it. But she is the bees. Of your life. Fake life. But anybody who carries the glory. Is delightful. There is joy unspeakable, full of glory that emanates from that person. Can I prophesy to somebody? I prophesy to hundreds of you that in the name of Jesus, from today, you will rejoice. When Paul was writing to the Philippians, I said, Rejoice, I say, Rejoice. Paul was in prison. So it is not what you go through that is important. Sometimes I go through things and I still come and prophesy to you. Because it's not what you go through that defines you. It is not what is happening around you that determines who you are. That is one of the dividends of the glory. When the glory is on upon a person, the person walks in delight. Number two, when the glory is on a person, the person walks in distinction. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise and shine, for your light has come. You cannot carry the glory of God and not shine in life. You cannot end in obscurity with God's glory. Anybody who is a carrier of the glory will automatically shine. And I prophesy that this year you will shine. I didn't hear your amen. I said you will shine. You will shine. I said you will shine. When the glory of God rests upon the business, it rests upon the church, it rests upon an institution, the institution will automatically be recognized. You cannot be hidden in obscurity. He said nobody lights a candle and put it. When light is shining at a place, you will see it. As a matter of fact, even when you are lost and you see light very far, you have hope. After today, you will be distinguished. Everything you touch will be distinguished. I said you will be distinguished in your family. Nobody prospers in your family, but get ready. You are about to prosper stupidly. Nobody makes it in your family, but you are about to shine in that family and you are going to be an example in that family. Somebody shout yes. So you can never be lost in the cloud where you carry glory. This thing, when you carry glory, you shine. That is why you need to humble yourself. Those who carry glory don't announce themselves. The glory will announce them. From today, the glory will announce you. I didn't hear your aim. I said it will announce you. It will announce you to your world. It will announce you to your family. I didn't hear that. Amen. Number three. Anywhere the glory is, there is defense. The glory defends against danger and against diverse climatic conditions. 
do you know that when God took Israel out of Egypt, it was the glory of God that went ahead of them. And nothing could devour them. Nothing could terminate them. The glory of God kept them. The glory of God is protective. You cannot carry God's glory and die anyhow. When God's glory is around your life, no witch can kill you before your time. When God's glory is around your life, no fetish priest can, can use divination to terminate you. Can I prophesy to somebody? This year you are heavily defended. 2020 your family is defended. I didn't hear your aim. I said you are defended. The glory is a shield. It's a protective shield. When Adam was under that glory, mosquito couldn't bite him. When Adam was under that glory, lions couldn't roar against him. When Adam was under that glory, serpents and snakes couldn't bite him. Can I prophesy to somebody? From today, you will take up serpents and scorpions and they will not hurt you because of the glory around your life. No weapon that is forged against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, they shall be condemned. They shall come against you in one way, but they shall flee in seven ways. I don't know who I'm prophesying to. The glory of God is protecting you. The glory of God is shielding you. The glory of God is establishing your immunity clause. Somebody shout yes! Supernatural immunity is what you get when God's glory is upon your life. You need the glory in order not to die like a chicken. You see, everybody will die. Let me refresh my, my statement. Before Jesus will come, it is not everybody that will die anyway. But if Jesus tarry, I give everybody here 100 years. You will surely die. Go and ask the people who are 100 years. They wish they die tomorrow. That's why white people, it gets to a place, they just tell their family, uh, uh, assisted death. Kill me, let me die. Everybody will die, but how you die is important. You will not die like a chicken. You will not die in an accident where your bones cannot be traced. Because the glory of God will defend you. You will not die like a commoner. I didn't hear your amen. As a matter of fact, you will not even die. You will sleep. And on that day when people are falling, passing your body, they will see you asleep. They will say, Adentina, where would he say? Oda. Odana, Ochina, Obe, sorry. That will be your testimony. But not that you will die and they can't see your body. Because your body is torn. That is what happens when the glory shields a man. I prophesy, listen, we are in a system where occultism is on the rise. We are in the system where all kinds of things are happening. If you are not spiritual enough, you will die. But the glory shields a man from sudden death. You will not wake up and say, my head, my head, and you are gone. But the glory of God will shield you. You will fulfill your purpose. You will fulfill your days. You will fulfill your assignment. Your days you will fulfill. Somebody shout yes. yes. Like Jacob, you call your children and bless them. And tell them, hey, I'm, I'm hearing a sound. I'm going. I heard of a man who was about to die. He called his children and said, I hear a sound. Let me pray for all of you. Pray for all of them, and then that is the end. He went. Hey, who are who hospital? Omo di mechio minko minko empire. And then what could nipa na minko minko omuba omuba? May the Lord shield you from that wahala. I said, May the Lord shield you from that wahala. So any man that dares a man that carries glory is on a suicide mission. 
When you know what you carry and the enemy dares you, that enemy is on a suicide mission. That is why you shouldn't concentrate on praying for your enemies to die. Concentrate on building yourself. When you build yourself and your enemies dare you, they commit suicide themselves. Number four. Dividend of the glory, direction. Inside the glory is direction for life, destiny, and ministry. The glory of God cannot be on you and you'll be buried in confusion. No. Because the glory of God is the essence of who he is. And wherever God is, there is direction. A lot of people's destiny has been shipwrecked because they are directionless. I said they are what? Yeah. Some people like direction and they employ one person and that person seeks their company. They employ one person and that person is the problem of their life. And everything they have labored all their life is, 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 is too much. People employ housemaid. I heard of a story of a, a lady that uh, uh, helped a lady into his house. The lady hijacked the marriage. No direction. It's not everybody they help. That's why it's not everybody that sees me in traffic looking for money that I give money to. Some people you give money to. That's why no matter the money you have, when you go to your village, be spiritual on who you give money to. Because some people don't need help. They will only use what you have given them to terminate your destiny. That is why you need direction. You need direction in life. Let me preach to pastors. It is very important that without direction, you can lead, you can raise somebody in leadership position that will collapse your ministry. That's why you don't employ leaders in church because of the cars they drive or the money they have in their bank account. In the glory is direction, divine direction. There is nothing that can take the place of divine direction. It's an asset of inestimable value. Divine direction. You know, when you go to our embassies, there are people who queue, thinking that when they go to America, money is on the streets. But there are some people that man, he said, I will lead you. I will teach you. I will teach you the way to profit. So it's not everybody's destiny that is in America. As a matter of fact, they can take you to America and put you in the White House, but you collapse the place. Because that is not where your destiny is. Location is important when it comes to God. Otherwise, God will not be changing the location of people. He is the God of the whole earth, but he had to take Abraham from his father's house to bless him. So location is very important. It will surprise you that if I live here and I say, I'm doing a ministry in Kumasi and God hasn't led me there. It will, be sur it will surprise you that with all my prophetic anointing, it is only me and my microphone that will be doing the ministry. That's why some people, it is only them and their family and their wife. I know a pastor, his wife probably doesn't go to the church. So it's only two people. They ask the wife, why don't you go to your husband and say, oh, all those things he's doing, I don't believe in it. In the glory is direction. Tell somebody, in the glory is direction. So the glory causes you to take the right steps at the right time. And make the right move at the right time. Listen, God is a specialist when it comes to specifics. God doesn't play wayo. When God talks, listen, there was one time I took a decision. There was one time I put money somewhere. God asked me to put the money there in a particular investment. Okay, let me tell you the answer. 2018, January. You know, the Lord just told me, son, take your investment from this company. It's about to collapse. That was the year I told you that banks will collapse in this country. I didn't hear. Do you know as I talk to you, the money has locked up? Because I didn't hear. I said I will do it. 
I will do it. I will do it. I was postponing it. Three months. Four months. Now the money is locked up. Even when I pray, God, my money. <laughs> I don't hear the. I don't hear is. I don't hear go. I don't hear come. Why? I didn't follow direction. You see, God is interested in your economics. God is interested in everything that concerns your life. Even when you are going to buy a shirt, God is interested. Tell somebody direction. You see, that guy, you, the two of you are together. Hey, you are sending text messages to each other. I've missed you. I woke up with you in my mind. I'm a lesson. I dreamt about you. Baby, baby, who need me, Melissa? Melissa, Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa. And you are singing Melissa. Then you send a, a video once a while. Have I told you lately that I love you? Then you miss, you send a miss emoji. And the two of you, hey, hey can I take you out? What's up? Oh, let's feel, let's dance. Hey, girl, them sugar. Hey, then you are dancing. It is when you marry him that you know where life is. That's why you need to follow divine direction. Are you here? You don't marry because of vital statistics. You don't marry because of looks. You don't marry because of face. Because some of the faces are makeups. Because the things they are using to cover. That is why when you are dating a woman, tell the woman, I want to meet you at morning.